Now a question. Could farmers in the future use swarms of airborne drones for pest control on their crops, monitoring fields and taking care of potential problems by spraying from the air? It could reduce the use of chemicals and so be better for the environment. Well, first, the law has to catch up with the technology. And as our rural affairs correspondent David Gregory Kumar reports, it'll be the job of Harper Adams University in Shropshire to sort that one out. Under test in a shed in Shropshire, the UK's first crop spraying drone. Is this the future of farming? You'll literally go out to the field where you actually want to fly, fill it up with the chemical that you want to actually use on your particular field and set the system off and flying. It'll know the area to actually fly, it'll target those particular areas and come back and land again. This sort of targeted application should in theory drastically reduce the volume of chemicals farmers need on their crops, saving cash and yes, also being kinder to the environment. And the advantages of drones don't stop there. So this is a traditional boom sprayer. Those big arms come right out and it sprays the crop with a particular pesticide or whatever. Now, the problem is it's heavy, so it squishes down the soil and also in really wet weather, you just can't take it out. And obviously a drone has none of those problems. At Harper Adams University in Shropshire, a conference looking at drones and farming. And Harper Adams will be at the forefront of solving one of the biggest problems with drones in agriculture. The technology, it seems, has moved much faster than the law. So you're not allowed to use these spray drones in this country under current legislation unless you've got special permission to do so. But we are working on that with the Civil Aviation Authority and the Chemical Regulations Directorate to be able to come up with a system that farmers can use. If the testing goes to plan, spray drones could become a common sight in just two years. But for now... This is the only particular one of that type. Um, there's a couple more coming into the country to actually be tested by us in the next couple of months. But it's, it's going to be a really interesting area to actually watch. And I think we're really pushing in the right directions. This machine could be the first in a swarm of drones helping farmers take care of their crops. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, Newport in Shropshire.